Hey guys, this is Wood here, and welcome to the NASCAR Heat 2 Championship Mode for the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Now, last weekend we wrapped up the Xfinity side of things, and we're going to be doing the Cup stuff now. So, what I'll be doing is pretty much the same as the Xfinity Series. So, it's going to be a 23 race season with no stages or playoff points. So, it's just a you know kind of like the Winston Cup format. Person with the highest points at the end of the season wins the title. And this is the closest you can get to on this game, so it's only 23 races. So, there's that. So, we're going to accept that. And, yep, you're looking at it right away. We're going to be picking Michael McDowell, and we're going to go with his... More than likely, we're going to run this car and this scheme for pretty much the entire season because it is a uh, Davy Allison throwback scheme. So, i got to do it. If you've been <laughs> used to the channel and what I do, you know I love Davy Allison and Alan Kowicki. A whole hell of a lot so this is a perfect car to race with so yeah and we're doing obviously the 2017 paint schemes so we can see all those in the race again this series wouldn't be possible without I'm just the goat because he gave me the season pass and it has all the uh, paint schemes and DLC that the game came with and I definitely want to do these championship uh, races and show them off and and all that because I do appreciate it for for his uh, kind gesture so here we go we're gonna you know pick Michael McDowell here and I'm going to show you the championship settings and how everything is going to be structured pretty much for the most part. So, auto hard difficulty, 25% race length, 2 times tire and fuel. For Daytona specifically because times 3 really messes things up. Because 25% race length for Daytona is 50 laps. And I think the fuel window for Daytona with 2 times wear is like around 21. So, that will get us easily a clear cut 2 stop race no matter what. Or at least it should. I know they pit early, so I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a two-stop race, so that's what I'm going with. Strict yellow, single race stages. So there is all that. So we're going to accept those changes. Now, when we get to other tracks in the schedule, I might keep it at two times wear as well, so we can have at least two stops in, uh, two pit stops in the race instead of three. So that's what I'm, I'll probably end up doing. So anyways, without further ado, let's check the standings. And see, because there's always one driver that's in this that's always, like, that's just not there. I remember when I was playing this game, like, off-camera, I remember there was one instance where it did not have Dale Jr. in the, the field lineup. It just, it didn't have him, or it had, like... So, I don't... You, you and uh, people in the comments can uh, comment down below, like, which drivers, or what driver, I guess, didn't make it. It looks like all the main ones are here. So, I did see Derek Cope, so I'll be looking out for him in the race as well as, uh, I, I guess the, f okay, I was gonna say Sorensen, but he's there too, so. Okay, okay, let's get all this out of the way. Now, now let's get into the race, because we're not gonna do qualifying, we're just gonna see up straight to the race, because qualifying doesn't really matter too much in this game, so let's get into all this good stuff. And here we are at Daytona International Speedway, the biggest marquee race of the season. Our car's bouncing up and down. <laughs> It's excited. It really wants to go. So, yeah. Let's try to get off this season on a good note. It's still bouncing. Like, my God. So, yeah. Here's our setup. Really, it's nothing too drastic. Fourth gear. I guess I had at 90. Now, I don't know if that's what I should keep it at or what. I'm going to keep it at 90 because that's what past me did. And I'm going to trust my past self here. So, yeah. Let's get right into the race. Hope for the best and try to stay out of trouble and try to have a, a clean race as humanly possible. So here we go. Green flag's about to come out, get ready. And the green flag's out and we're underway. 22 laps in the fuel, uh, 21 when we probably cross the line. So I want to try to, I was going to make a three wide, but I'm not going to try to do that just yet. So it is a, you know, like I said, a 50 lap race and we didn't got to a good start so for the love of god please do not let me lose this pack because it's gonna be very embarrassing to start this championship mode season thing off and lose the lead right away or the main pack and that's not the case because we just you know catch up to Sadler as well as I guess that's Timmy Hill yeah Timmy Hill and we kind of just bumped him a little bit we'll try to go to the inside he gives me room so thank you for that we're gonna go right to the hood cam so I can see where I'm gonna be going to put my nose in there and make all these swift and juicy moves. So we'll just kind of try to do that. So 
with auto hard difficulty in this game, and I, I guess with the fourth gear, like, lowered as it is. Oh, God, we just gave Gaze a shot, and it, he didn't do anything with it. Um, one thing, like, with auto hard is that the AIs are much harder than 105 difficulty, so this is about as hard as the game could possibly be. And I do know at Restrictor Plates, they are relatively challenging. Like, you're not going to go up to the front in, like, five laps or something, so... It is going to be pretty difficult, or just very tedious, so it's going to take a lot of time to just move our way through the field. I don't even know who really started on the pole because we didn't qualify, so I really don't know. But we're moving our way up through the field pretty decently. Get to the inside, I think, of Danica maybe, as well as Cope. And there we go, in the 35th, got a great run here on the triable, off the triable, three wide, I think, and yeah, we're gaining spots. And I'm glad, I guess, I lowered, my pass speed lowered the fourth gear to 90. For 0 0.90 because I am like topping off at like 207, 208 easily in these straightaways so I guess that was a good idea that I did that so that's uh that's good that I did that <laughs> I just said the same thing twice so yeah it's, it's gonna be a long race and normally at restrictor plates to my knowledge like in the Xfinity series season it was one of the few races where the, the race went caution free the entire way through yeah, I think that might have been the only race in the entire season where that happened in my playthrough, at least for championship mode. So, I don't know how that will be today. And I am not going to make it forward by that. Hell no. I'm just going to try to keep it to the bottom and gain spots that way. So, we'll just see. I'm just hoping that these AIs don't pit at like lap 17 or 18 because it's really going to... Well, I can, okay, maybe lap 18 they can get away with it. But, like, lap 17, they'll be screwed because then they'll pit on lap 34, and then... Well, actually, they could make it all the way to the end on 51. It'll be, like, one lap short, but they... I don't know. It'll be really close. So I hope that they don't do that. I don't know why they, they short pit here. Like, if all tracks a short pit, this is not the track to do it. And it always screws them over so badly. So... With all me, with all this uh, talking and rambling, I'm up into 25th. I'm not doing too bad, and Reed Sorensen's in 23rd, so holy crap, what a run for him. So, I don't know if we'll see any DLC paint schemes for the 500 in this race. I know early in the season there's a, there's a, there's a good amount, so I'm looking forward to seeing all those pop up, because it is really cool. So we're just continuing to give Sorensen a shot. He's not doing anything with it, we just give him another shot. Our, amazingly, our front bumper isn't majorly damaged. I thought it would at least get 1% aero damage, but I guess not. So, we'll just get another good run off turn 4. Can't really do anything with the run we have yet. The field's still bunched up pretty well. Or we'll just give him another shot. That works too. We poke our nose down low and it kind of worked. It gives me the bottom. Okay, there he goes. Thank you. And now they're just like single file from like what looks like 1st to maybe 10th. A lot of rows wide, or a lot of, a lot of rows, a lot of single file up there. Trevor Bain, I think, nicked the outside wall, so good on you. Danica Patrick's up in the top 15, so that's strange. And I don't know who the race leader is. It looks like, I don't know, Jimmy Johnson maybe? It's hard to tell, they're just dots on my screen. So, I think I saw Dale Jr. up there in the top 10. Uh, I know Ryan Blaney and Hamlin are there, Suarez is up there. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty good, especially with the, the gear ratio that I have it set at. We almost were 210 for a second there. Oh my god. Okay, well, I get, I'm glad I did that then. So, another, just just continuing to build this momentum off the corners and into the straights, and it just we just skyrocketed into 12. Holy crap. I try to side draft Ryan Blaney a little bit, and try to get 11th on the dangers up here. Not quite going to get the top 10. But we'll just continue to bump him. Almadir made a move. He try, he's trying to do something. So, there we go. Just, get, just just be patient. You know, it's a long race. We're not even one-fifth through this thing. Almadir gets the inside of Kirk Bush. We'll just kind of follow along with him. Now they're going to be single file for a little bit once we get by Larson. Well, not really. As I say that, they kind of just start spreading out. <laughs> or going double wide. <laughs> Too wide. But I don't really know who's leading still. It's just, it's hard to tell. 
212. My God, I saw that in the corner of my eye. <gasps> Ooh, a little contact there with, I guess, yeah, Palma Dinger. It looks like Stenhouse. The road, the road course. I'm getting ahead of myself. The restrictor plate master is up there in the front. Or trying to go for a lead, I think. Still don't know who's lead. Okay, it looks like... It is, it's not Kurt Busch. It looks like Clint Boyer, I think. It's hard to tell. And I nipped the freaking apron there. That's going to kill my momentum. And am I clear of Logano? I am, so I'll just duck up high, get you a new draft a little bit. And, okay, that's Kevin Harvick. Okay, Boyer's back bumper looks similar to Harvick, so I guess that's why I got confused there. But here comes Stenhouse, just trying to go for the race lead. And get a great run to turn three, gets the inside of Kyle Busch for second as we're three wide for that spot. Harvick amazingly doesn't hit the outside wall. Sometimes they will kind of do that. It's weird. But now I'm just kind of curious. Now we're in second. This is the part where it gets silly how like, difficult it is to kind of hold the lead. But as I'm saying that, we're side by side trying to get the lead. So <laughs> now I'm, I'm just confused. And ooh, not quite clear. Side by side with uh, Stenhouse for the race lead now. Okay, try to side draft him a little bit. Just try to keep the car on the bottom. I don't know. It's, it's just, this is where it just gets weird because you would think you know you can you know, just fly right by him like you did everybody else, but it's just it's really hard because I guess you just need another car in front of you to kind of have that push or draft. And it's just it's I guess it's just going to be a pain just to get by him. So I don't know. You know I guess I'll have to try this this. Uh, strategy out for multiple laps well I mean we're side by side now so okay we're or or we could just clear them okay um never mind then I thought it'd be a lot harder and I think Stenhouse just got put in the wall so that's that's mean oh my god um there's what that that did they pin it on lap 15 they got eight more laps of fuel. What the fuck? It's unreal. That is unreal. Nor, I mean, I remember them pitting like with like maybe five laps remaining in the fuel, but not eight. Well, jeez, they're gonna have to pit three times now. Wow, that's that is so dumb. That just blows my mind. God, the AI are so fucking dumb at these restrictor play tracks. And here we go, we have the AI drivers just merging up the freaking field before we go into turn one. Just, it's just a freaking accident waiting to happen. Oh my god, it, it, it's, it's definitely got those Dirt Today tone of vibes. Now that I personally played it, ooh, I could feel it. <laughs> I could feel it through this game. Halfway down the back straightaway now on lap 20, we'll be pitting this time. I could stretch it all the way to lap maybe 23 or 24, or we'll be cutting it too close to... Too close on time, so... Yeah, and it went down to three there, so we'll just head down this lap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take four tires here, and then the second stop I'll take uh, two tires. So, 55, there we go. So, full tank, four tires, not repaired damage, and we'll be in and out, and should probably cycle back in, into the lead. I don't think so, but if they're going to have to make another stop, then we already have one stop uh, up on the field, so this really won't matter. 15.7 second stop, and there we go. I saw Chase Elliott on pit road when I was down there, so poor Chase Elliott having more horrible bad luck. So we have Kyle Busch in second. I'm just going to merge up just like the other AI drivers, but I'm going to stay to the bottom and hope they don't do something stupid. So, yeah, and they're only one second back, and there they go. There goes Kyle, Logano. Jimmy's about a second back, so we'll probably get in this draft or one of the lead pack cars, so. Not going to merge or do anything stupid here, just going to give them all a room. So we'll just, there goes Jimmy, Kurt, Dale Jr., Brian Blaney, TJ Kennington's up here. <gasps> Trevor Bain. Trevor Bain. Of course. It ha of all people to just, just run me over, it hadn't been him. So. And there we go. I mean, we're, we're back into this lead pack. So first and second are up the road quite a ways, and then we'll see how we can run those guys down. I don't think getting by these guys won't be too complicated. Just more about if we once we get to third, how are we going to get to those cars up in front of me? It's just this is the real question. Looks like there might have been a new leader up there. Either 
Logano took the lead or Kyle Busch took it. I don't know. They're both yellow cars, so it's very hard to tell when they're far away like that. But it looks like me, uh, Junior, and then Jimmy are kind of closing in up on those uh, two cars up ahead of me. And, oh my god, what? <laughs> Jesus. J Junior, just make a move. Damn, he just slammed the brakes. Well, that's for sure arrow damage, so thank you, Junior. Um, well, they're going to be probably pinning around lap 30, so in the next five or so laps, I'm probably just going to try to stay on the outside or just not be as, you know, much behind them as I am now. Because they are just, I don't know when they're going to pit. They just, they slow down the middle of the track and then go down low, so it's really dumb. We are for sure closing in on them. It was 1.4 seconds, now it's down to 9 tenths of a second, so we're obviously gaining on them. And I'm having a hard time trying to get around Junior because he keeps bracing super defensively. But it's not a big deal. It's, 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 it's okay for now. Looks like Kyle Busch is going to go for the race lead over Logano, so another lead change, but I'm sure that's going to stack the slow them down a lot, and it for sure is. And there we go, we cop to this lead pack. And try to get to the inside of Junior. Finally, we get to his inside. We get draft from, looks like, Jimmy. There we go, finally. <laughs> we got by Junior, now we move up into the third. So now we have to get our sights on Jimmy and Logano here. Our car seems to be pretty fast in the draft, and it seems like on its own for the most part. So we can just kind of do this here. Go three wide in the middle and just... <laughs> God. Oh my God. There we go. New leader. Jesus, this car is fast. I, well, that's crazy that all I did was just change the gear ratio and it just has, it's just, it's just, it's just, just beastly. Kyle Busch now takes over the second spot as we have Jimmy battling for third with Danica Patrick. Okay, that's, that's weird. Chris Buescher's up here in the top five. Well, now he's in third. Um... I know DJ Kennington's up in the top 10 somewhere, so yeah, we're going to have another really weird result, uh, top 10 results if this keeps up. I mean, it's just, it's just weird. And yep, like clockwork, Kyle Busch just heads down pit road, just brake checks Chris Busher, I think. Good God. <laughs> so, yep, pit stops beginning, Kennington's up to third, so yeah, he was definitely in the top 10 somewhere. So, as pit stops begin to cycle out again. Really got nothing to worry about until we pit around lap 40, so... Yeah, we're, we're pretty much in the clear now. We don't have to really worry about any of them passing me behind, because it seems like we're just fast enough on speed load to kind of just make a simple block and hold them off. The yellow's out. Ooh! Yellow flag's out, and we're going to be penned down pit road. Kyle Busch is pitting as well. Danica Patrick's on lead lap. Oh, my. Well, this might give everybody the wave around, so... Oof. So, we're going to play it safe. We're going to go with four tires. I don't really have to, but we're just going to play it safe here. We're going to put in uh, one can of fuel, four tires, not repair damage. And see. Yeah, we're in seventh, but we're still, you know, better than where we were. So, I'm assuming we'll have at least 11 laps to go or something. But at least we're on the inside, so that's good. So here we go. Just going to have a good start. Yep, time to go. And 16 in fuel, we're good. Give Trevor Bain a shot. He's not doing anything with it. And, oh my god, they're three wide. Yeah, we're three wide. Alright, Danica Patrick's in second with Matt Kenseth leading, I think. And there we go, in, in, in the P3. So, oh my god, Danica Patrick's going for the lead. <laughs> oh, how is Newman? Okay, sure. Okay, yeah. What is this, like, career mode? Like, if I had a three-star team, it just takes, like, a whole lap just to get up to speed? Like, what was that? Newman, what do you do? I mean, he's a lap down. What, is this NASCAR Heat Evolution now, or he's just getting the magic speed boost to get back on a lead lap? Like, what, what is that? So, everybody should be good on fuel no matter what. Danica Patrick is going to be a wimp and not try to go for the lead, so who cares? And, yeah, we're right back there, and we're, or we're right back up with the leaders. Give Danica a shot. She's not going to do anything with it. Try to get to the inside of her and then try to get by Kenseth. And she's just going to hold the bottom lane. Well, Dan Danica, you want to go for a lead and have your, your moment of shine, go for it. I'm going to take it right back, though, but I'm 
like you can take it. So yeah, new leader, and I just I just retroactively helped Danica get the lead. It's very surreal, but it happened. And all uh, Riggy Stenhouse is in fourth. That's very. No wait, no, he's a lap down. Okay. I don't know how many people are on the lap, but this race has certainly gotten weirder as it's gone on. So there we go. A good run. The French survey gets to the inside of her. Use a little side draft. Get to the bottom. Once we clear, I think we should be good to go almost all the way to the end. And yeah, we new leader. Didn't take long. So, yeah, let's just uh, hold off Kenseth or anybody else that wants to make a move on me. Two more laps to go in the race. Still maintaining the lead. And oh, God. What is this lap car doing? Clint Boyer you're trying to manipulate the race again. Oh my god, that was... Pff, that was almost a disaster. But it's okay, we're fine. So Kenseth's still in second. Danica's now in third. Th this race has just gotten really weird because me, Kenseth, and Danica are one, two, three, and then we have Kyle Busch like almost two seconds back as well as Trevor Baines, so... They must have got held up in just lap down cars or something. It's just, it's really weird. I just don't know what's going on back there. But Dan Denny Hamlin's up here too, and he's a lap down, so I don't know what's going on. White flag. <laughs> Denny Hamlin. It it would be very Denny Hamlin like to just get in the way in the 500, just 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 try to cause a problem. Because why not? So just. You know, try to maintain this bottom, just look at our mirror, block whatever lane that has the momentum, which is really only one driver, <laughs> so... Um, yeah, this is not really too complicated. Once Danica wants to try to get second in the 500, that'll be mind-boggling. But here we go, into turn three and four. Still holding the lead. Kansas really doesn't have much room to do anything with. And off turn four, We'll win the Daytona 500. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, no, that was the white flag. That was the white flag. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh my fucking god. I thought it was the white flag. I, I, I was gonna say something with like two to go, and I guess I said it with three. Ooh. I am so sorry, Field. I, I thought I... Ooh. I, I thought that was the end. I am... Oh. Oof. Oof. God, that's embarrassing. Oh, man, I... I, I oh, my God. I, I feel like a jackass. Well, let's hope we got to a good start here. Block Danica. I can't believe I did that. I thought that was the fucking race. Holy shit. I'm so stupid. There we go, we blocked Danica. New leader. God, I can't believe I did that. I, I thought that was the end of the freaking race. Oh my fucking heart. Holy shit. I, I, don't, I don't think I've choked in that sort of way before. There's no way I'm going to block all three lanes. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. No, no, no. Danica. Holy shit. What a freaking jump they got on me. Damn. Um. Alright. It's okay, just take a breather. We're in fourth place. We know I know I have a fast car. Oh, oh my god, Danica and everybody pitted behind me. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my. This has just turned ugly. Well, we can maybe do something for Kyle here in turn three. Boy, this is this is embarrassing. Well, here we go, good run. On the back straightaway, we'll try to get to his inside. We're still actually carrying pretty good speed, despite any sort of arrow damage we kind of have. There we go. We side draft him a little bit, and we almost have a car length on him. Just, just chop him off. Chop him off. Fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> Trevor paid second off turn four. Yes, this is the white flag. Suck it. Oh. Mmm. Take that! I almost choked that away and oh god, the comment section would have ripped me apart. Oh my god. Why did the AI drivers not pit on that caution if they couldn't make it on fuel? What dumbasses. Oh my god. 
That's the fuck. Oh my god, I can't. I almost threw that race away. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, we gotta look back at this replay. It's hard, kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna change the camera view so it's like be back here. Way in the distance, there's a dot when this wreck happened. And yeah, there's just somebody just got <laughs> launched in the air. I don't don't know who that is. We'll look at this angle here. And oh god, it's Almendinger. He just got launched. He flies up in the air and lands back on all fours, but man, that was that wasn't seeing that in my mirror. <laughs> And more weird things happening back behind me. Uh, on the heading to that initial white flag, yeah, you see Ryan Newman. There you go in the left-hand corner of the screen. He's going down Piro, and that stacked up the field behind me a little bit there, which was like Stenhouse and Menard. So that's, I guess that could ex. No, not really. But I just can't believe I did that. I thought that was the freaking white flag or checkered flag there, and. And that was just a white flag. <laughs> and I nipped a damn apron. And I like I pretty much let go of my controller for a split second. And then I just ended up just taking the field out. Now, if the cautions work properly in this game, it, that would have handed Danica Patrick the, the, the 2500 win. <laughs> and that would have been the biggest shit show in the history of NASCAR. <laughs> well, here's the finishing results for that mess of a race. So I get the win, Bane second, Danica Patrick ninth, Newman, I don't even know the rest of the results. Elliot Sadler 11th. I know Chase had issues. Oh my god, that was that was like such a pretty that was such a chill race until the end, and then just all just shit to death. <laughs> oh boy, standings are gonna be very weird after that one. So yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Ryan Blenny with that car destroyed back there. He got seventh in this race. Ooh my god. Yeah, this this that was, uh, Kennington tenth! Yes! So after Daytona, we're going to Atlanta, which is notoriously horrible with cautions and wrecks. I mean, the Xfinity Series one had like, I don't even know how many. So this one's probably going to have at least 20. I'm going to have a counter for that because I, I think we're going to get at least maybe 15 cautions. Maybe. I don't know. But here's a full on look about the point standings after Daytona. It just It's all a big mess right now. So I'm sure it'll kind of... By around maybe race four or five, we'll start to kind of look a little bit more reasonable. So, yeah. A big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters: the Dan Rails, Ron Hoffer, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Michael Harrison, Day 500 Champ 15, Jeff Gordon, Zach Rogers, Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Matthew Murray, Stephen Willie, and ATF Gaming for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel. It does mean a lot to me, and I can't. It just it just means a lot. It's just you guys are seriously awesome for what you do. Yeah, I'll see you all next race for Atlanta. Well, for tomorrow, really, so... I'm scared. It's gonna be probably a mess, so... Stay tuned. I mean, it'll be a great thumbnail opportunity video. I mean, I wouldn't have to try much at all. It'd probably get a good thumbnail for that. <laughs> so, I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.